The sun is just rising. Perfect time to get our tea going. So one thing to also note, this is a caffeine-free chai. Um, you can add black tea, and that is actually what I do intend to do after this, and let that steep before I add my creamer. So whatever you don't drink, you can definitely put into a small jar and then put into the fridge. Um, the flavor won't really change over time, but I believe that the nutrient density will depreciate. So it's probably best to consume it within three to four days. Now, the way that I like to do chai, I've done several different, um, sorry, that's Jane's feet walking through. She's tippy tapping through the kitchen at an ever so slow pace. But, um, so there's a lot of different ways to make chai, and I've used a lot of different spices. So I've used nutmeg, I've used allspice, I've put fennel seed into my chai tea, and you, you have to experiment and figure out which way you like to do it. Um, now this is a combination that I like to enjoy, it's fairly simple. So the ginger and the turmeric you saw that I grated, that's gonna give you a spicier tea. I like spicy chai. Um, I will go ahead and tell you though, Will does not. Um, so one way to kind of cut that, obviously you could use less ginger and turmeric um, and black pepper for that matter. But what you could do is just thinly slice the ginger and turmeric and that would give you a less spicier tea. Um, and then for the black pepper, I do a very coarse ground black pepper. I don't really want this to be fine um, because it's gonna simmer on the stove with everything else. Um, now, one thing I will say about black pepper, the different nutrients that are present in turmeric are more bioavailable to our bodies when we consume them with black pepper. Even if you go and you take a turmeric supplement, you'll see a lot of times that that supplement has black pepper in it as well. And if it doesn't, you should find a supplement that has black pepper along with the turmeric. The cinnamon sticks, I put two in there. Again, this is preference. I love the taste of cinnamon. It just makes a nice spicy tea. And then the cardamom pods, you saw how, I mean, they were whole pods. And I, I have used black cardamom pods. I wouldn't recommend that. They have a very smoky flavor, but the green cardamom pods are a little bit milder and they have a really beautiful flavor of cardamom. Um, but you saw that I just gently crushed them. I just want the actual pod to pop open so that way we can get that hot water in there. Another thing, you don't necessarily have to add a cream or sugar. I will say though, kind of along the same concept as turmeric, consuming ginger without a fat source does it a little bit of an, of an injustice because the medicine that is in ginger becomes more bioavailable when you consume it with a fat source. So people that are dairy free, you could do coconut milk. Um, that's going to be a little bit denser of a cream. So while we're waiting on our tea to go, I guess I'll take you guys along for my slow morning. sit and we'll read a little bit of Harry Potter and cuddle the babies. It 
It's a simple life. Good, but simple. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank mm -hmm. you.